Hi ladies, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. Don't click out after you see me looking like this. <laughs> I have to film this video this way because many of you have been requesting a nighttime skincare routine. That sounds so crazy. I know like, <laughs> I used to think, oh yeah, sure, people are requesting it. <laughs> you just want to do it. But honestly, some people have requested it. Not like millions of people, but a few of you have been wondering. And many of you, more than 10, have asked me if I'm still using the A313 and if I could give an update on this. So I'm here to do an updated skin nighttime skincare routine. And since I shower at night after a long busy day, it's like 11 o'clock at night. And I thought to myself, if I don't do this video, I'm never gonna do this video. So I'm doing this video and I'm fresh from the shower, 20 minutes out and I'm filming it at night. And I usually film on my iPhone during the day in front of windows. So I have a lot of light going on. It's not the best light, but it's what I have because I'm filming on an iPhone and I'm just a housewife <laughs> and mother of four. So um, I'm, I don't have like a pro professional team to help me film. I do have a ring light on right now and I'm just gonna show you because I know some of you say, oh, the lighting's so bad or you're too lit or so on and so forth, especially when I film at night. So I wanna show you, I'm gonna turn off this ring light and this is how I would look. I have a lamp on and then it's dark in the windows. So you can see me, but you can't see me well. And now I'm gonna turn my light up so that you can really see me. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like the highest setting and now I'm going down and now I'm mid. This is like the mid setting and now we're going to like almost off. And so I am just gonna turn it on a little bit so that you can see me. And I know I look washed out and I know it's not the best lighting. And this year is the year that I think, I don't wanna promise, but I think I'm gonna really work on my lighting so that I'll have good lighting. But I don't have any filters. I don't have any tricks or anything. If I'm looking washed out or too dim, it's because um, you know, I'm working with what I've got. So enough about that. The way I'm using my A313 has really changed my skincare in the past six months at night. And I'll tell you the reason why. Now I did do a video on the A313 cream in about four months ago, and I've been using it a little bit longer than that. And I'm linking that video in the description box and in the first comment. So that way you can watch that video and find out everything you need to know about A313. And then you can come back to this video and get the update. And if you're here for the update, then you're at the right place. I'm here to give you the update and show you how I use it and give you my tips. Now, I only use this every other week and I use it twice a week. I use it tonight, Saturday, so I'll use it tonight and then I'll use it on Wednesday. And then the following week, I'll use Trentinoyan 0.5. And then the following week, the next week after that, I'll go back to this. So every other week I'm alternating. And I'm doing that not because I don't like the A313, I really do. But if you are new to Trentinoyan or if you've ever taken a break from it, your skin has to reacclimate to it. And there's even a term for it when you're acclimating to Trentinoyan. It's called the Retin-A Uglies because your skin gets red, it gets irritated, it gets, you know, you purge, you get blemishes, and it's just not nice. So I want to keep my skin familiar with the Trentinoyan. And because this is so well documented as being the only thing that can really anti-age your skin, I don't ever want to stop using it. You know, it's really great for repairing and reversing sun damage. It's really great for lightening red spots. It's really, I mean, dark spots. It can um, even your skin tone. You know, when, once you get acclimated and find a good routine with Retin-A, it really is a wonderful product. It took me 40 years. I used it since I was a teenager for acne. And I used it, I stopped using it during my 30s for pregnancy. And then I started using it again in my 40s. And I went to a 0.1% because I thought, well, the strongest certainly must be better, but my skin never looked good. It was always flaking and I didn't want to be flaking all the time. I want my skin to look good most days and maybe have one day where there's flaking or maybe one and a half days because life's too short. What if you use this and flake all the time and then you die? Well, what did you, what did you accomplish, right? <laughs> we all want to look good. So that's the story with this. Now, this guy, I found out about this, the Avabon, 
in about 2012 or 2013 from the Goop newsletter, um, Gwyneth Paltrow, and she raved about this way back then, and it was really hard to get. And I did manage to get a tube of it and use it, and then I kind of got away from it, but I remember it came on my radar then. And then I kind of forgot about it, went back to my Trentinoyan, and then Beauty by Anne Marie talked about this on her channel, and I was like, oh yes, yes. So I went out and I got a tube. I did not buy mine from Amazon. I bought mine from the Avabon website, which is what I would recommend that you do too, because I have heard from other YouTubers that if you get it from Amazon, it doesn't have three retinol to hide esters in it. Sometimes it only has one and that the ingredients aren't the same. So this has three retinol esters in it. It has retinol acetate, retinol propanate, and retinol palmitate. And they have to go through three conversion cycles to become retinoic acid, which your skin can utilize like it does Retin-A. So some people say because it has to go through the three conversion cycles that it doesn't achieve the same results as Retin-A will. But this is a product where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts because this has an ingredient in it called macrogol and macrogol is a stabilizer and a penetrator. So it helps the retinol esters penetrate and it keeps them stable so that your skin can utilize them. Now, if you read the comments beneath my last video, it already has like nearly 13,000 views and that's really good for one of my videos. And in the comments, there's almost 200 comments, there's probably less than 10% negative comments. The other comments are people talking about how amazing they think this product is. I think that this is a cult product because it really does work. It really does do something for your skin and makes it look better. I've had subscriber friends tell me it's too harsh for them and they don't think that they can use it and I'm hoping some of my tips will help with that and then I've heard some of you say it doesn't really do anything I'm not peeling I'm not flaking but that's true for retin um, retin-a as well some people peel a lot when they use it and some people can use it every single day of the week and hardly have any reaction and they're using the highest percentage so all of us are unique and all of us are different so what works for me might not work for you but i do feel that this is just chock full of vitamin a and any kind of vitamin a derivative is very very good in your, your anti-aging skincare routine. And if you're someone who can't ever use Trentinoin, Trentinoin, don't despair. You could use rosehip oil, you could use cacai oil, you could use um, Bacuchiol. I did a video on Bacuchiol and I'll link that. Um, you could use A313. Um, any kind of vitamin A derivative or like cacao oil is like nature's vitamin A. It has retinol in it. So does rosehip oil. You could use Olay products that have retinol in them. So just to let you know that there are a plethora of products that have vitamin A in them that are effective for anti-aging our skin. And just because one doesn't work for you, it doesn't make you a big loser who's going to get old and wrinkled. <laughs> All right, I'm only kidding. But it's so you can still use something and it will still be effective. And you might not get overnight results, but let me tell you, I've been using Trentinoyan since I was a teenager. And, um, you know, I still can't use a 0.1% and I can only use a 0.5 once or twice a week. Okay. So now here we go with the update. Sorry, I'm so chatty. It's like nighttime and I am was drinking some iced tea, took my shower and I'm just feeling like I should go dancing or something. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go about, let's go into the A313. So in my last video, I talked about how it was difficult for me to use. It felt stronger than my Retin-A. I was peeling more and I didn't think that I could use it at first. But then I tried mixing it with some moisturizers. And one moisturizer that I found very effective, and I like this one a lot, and I'll tell you why, is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Moisturizer. This is loaded with peptides, which are also very great for anti-aging our skin. And I like that it has like this little platform here. So when you pump out your proteiny, I'm not going to use this tonight, so I'm not gonna pump it out. You pump it out and it, a little comes out here and then you can take your A313 and mix them together and apply them. 
But then later I found out that it didn't even matter what order I applied them in. I could mix them or I could put the Protini on first and then the A313 or I could put on the A313 and then the Protini Peptide Cream and I still got the same amount of peeling and it did subside after a few weeks of using this. So then um, I started using less of the Protini and then I happened upon the Avabon website again. I was just looking to see if this was sold out or how the price was doing. And I saw something on there called homeoplasmine. And I'm like, what's that? So I looked at the ingredients and it has a lot of good kind of natural botanical ingredients, but it has calendula in it. And this is recommended for sunburns and um, dry skin, winter skin, and just kind of healing skin. And the curious thing about it is that it is the exact same consistency as the A313. So it doesn't have a fragrance, it's clear. And when I first got it, I thought, huh, it's just kind of like um, lanolin, or, you know, it's like the consistency of lanolin. I don't think it's as thick as Vaseline. I think it's kind of like lanolin or Preparation H, if you've ever used that. I hope you've never had to use that. <laughs> but then the A313 is the same thing. So I take equal amounts. It's the same consistency. And I just kind of mix them together in my hand. So I've got the soothing ingredients from the homeoplasmine. I think I paid like $9 for that. It might've been 14. I'll link it. You don't have to get this. You could use lanolin, you could use whatever moisturizer you like. The reason I liked the polypeptide is because this is a really great moisturizer, but it's a very light moisturizer. And the A313 is a heavier, thicker consistency. So I don't wanna add a thick cream on with it, but I don't mind the homeoplasmine because it's the same consistency. So it's like the same product. And so I mix it and then I just go like this. And I wait 20 minutes after I've had a shower and I've, you know, washed my makeup and my skin. And I do put it around my eyes. I don't put it here and I'll tell you why. I have a theory about that. But um, this is how I do it. And then I've got, it's kind of thick on my hand. People say, I've heard people say it makes it really greasy, their face really greasy. But I find that using like a fat pea size of the A313 and then a fat pea size of moisturizer or the homeoplasmine that it soaks right in and it doesn't get on my pillow. My face is dry when I go to sleep. Not dry, like um, peely dry or anything, but just like dry. It's not sticky or wet or anything. So I do like the way it feels. And when you wake up, your skin is just really plush and hydrated. At least that's how my skin is now. It wasn't like that the first month, month and a half that I started using it. But now when I wake up, my skin is very plush. And then see, now I let it sit and it warmed up. And I just do this. I don't do like any fancy gua sha facial massage or anything with it. I just use my fingers and just kind of make sure I cover every inch of my face, my brows in here and I'll tell you why I avoid this area and it's a theory of mine. I've heard people who use Trentinoyan say that they encounter dry eye and I think that that is because it does have the ability to thicken up your dermis and thicken your skin over time and it can thicken up the area by your tear ducts and make it less likely that you'll produce the tears and stuff that you want. That's my theory for whatever it's worth. So I do avoid right here. And I know it probably travels anyways, but that's why I'm careful. Then I take what's left and I put it on the backs of my hands. And the next thing is kind of important. The rest of the week, I don't use any other exfoliants. And that's something big that has changed in my skincare. I used to use, um, the Luna oil from Sunday Riley, which is a retinol. I can use that sometimes, but not very often. Um, I used to use the Good Jeans. I used to use um, a plethora of other, I used to use this alpha hydroxy acid. Um, it's got willow bark extract, alpha hydroxy acids. It's like a toner. 
and I don't use this anymore because I don't want to put any other exfoliants on my skin at all. So the rest of the week, all I do is moisturize. Like now it's Saturday. I won't do this again until Wednesday. So the next couple of days, I'll moisturize my skin. I will go ahead and use my cacao oil sometimes, and that's fine. My skin is fine with that. The cacao oil doesn't add any extra irritation, but it's all about hydrating my skin. And that took me a really long time to learn, and it's one of the biggest things that I've learned. I used to think if your skin is peeling a little bit, you need to add more exfoliation or put something on there to break it up and remove it. But that just creates more dry skin. So it's counterintuitive. What I've learned is that you just need to moisturize. So I've done my exfoliating. My exfoliating is done. And now I will just moisturize until Wednesday when I do this again. And then I'll just continue and to One more tip that I have for you is if you are a face shaver like I am once a week, I go over my face with this Tinkle razor, not this particular one, I get a fresh one every week, but I remove all the peach fuzz on my face. And on that day, I do not ever use anything exfoliating afterwards. So don't use your Retin-A or your A313 after you've exfoliated your skin with something like this, or if you've used acids or something on your skin, wait a few days, let everything calm down, and don't use it at a time when your skin is presently peeling. Wait for all that to settle down and then go in with your with your A313. So my nighttime skincare routine has become very simple. It sounds complex because I'm updating you all, but it's very, very simple and there's not a lot to say about it. Um, so really, I just use the Kakai oil. Sometimes I use my Palmer's Skin Success, Skin Therapy oil, but the rest is just these and they're not expensive. This is less than $35. This is less than $20. And then this I get with a prescription once a year. This giant tube will last me a year and I think I pay about $90 for it. So it's a very simple, affordable, and effective skincare routine. And I feel like my skin and I are finally friends. You know, like it doesn't, it doesn't get really red or irritated or peel too much. Um, it doesn't break out a lot. It's just, you know, we've hit a rhythm. And I know that I'm 51 years old, so pretty soon we're gonna hit another rhythm and it's gonna wanna change everything up again. But for now, this is what's working for me. I hope I answered all your questions. I've gotten so many questions about A313 and how I use it. So I hope that this addressed all of those questions. If not, ask more below. But the big question is, am I still using it? Am I still liking it? Yes, yes, yes. I love my A313. I have no intentions to stop using it. I feel like it was made for me. You know, I know some of you feel like, oh, it just doesn't work. Um, and maybe it doesn't, maybe it never will work for you. You can try a few things and try to make it work. But I've never, I'm not the kind of person who beats a dead horse where that's concerned. I'll try a few things and for a few weeks and then if it's not gonna work, why put yourself through that? So anyway, I hope you found this helpful and um, yeah, excuse the bedtime look. I'm gonna just go put my pony in and I'm watching on Hulu, Mrs. America. Are you guys watching that? Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's about the Equal Rights Amendment in the 70s, late 60s, 70s, and I'm learning so much. It takes me down a rabbit hole. I watch the series and then I Google so much. So I spend so much time reading about these women and it's just fascinating. So anyway, thank you for spending some time with me and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.